Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be making a coat hook for my haul. We're going to make it out of a piece of oak and some forks. I'll put a picture on screen for you there now. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be making today. So stick with me and let's get started. <laughs> Right, so I hope you don't uh, judge me too harshly, but I've kind of had a play around off camera. Um, I've managed to come up with this design, so when it's it's flat against something, it will look like that. Um, so that's kind of the, the design I'm going to go with. Um, so I've got five five more forks, so I think I'm going to do uh, five total, and I've kind of worked out a hundred millimeters between each fork, and then an extra fifty either side. Um, I think that's kind of a, a good size. Uh, it's not too big for the hallway. So yeah, so these are some forks that I've picked up down at the local markets. It was down there. The other morning, um, there was a five euro for six of them. I don't know if that's good or not, but as you can see, I think you can see, they're actually Newbridge A1. I'm not sure what that ne that means, but I must look it up. It's it's some form of silver. It's probably sterling silver or something. But I just like the the nice design on the top. And I think when that's facing out, it will be a nice design. And hopefully that will look good on the, this is a piece of oak that I have lying around. So yeah, so I've just to flatten out the fork bit. And put two bends, one at the neck and one kind of in the center of what's left. So yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to start.
Right, so I've had a route around through my afternoon tea box and I found some small silver uh, screws. Um, so I'm just going to align these fellas and get them put on. I'm going to mount them first and then I will take them off and do the varnishing. I just like to have them easy to go on the next time. So I've got them reasonably uh, the way I want them anyway. I think it'll look quite well. So I'm going to leave it as is. The only problem I'm having now is with this splaying at the bottom between the centre two forks. So obviously when I drive the screw in it's, it's forcing these out. And I was hoping to get a second fix in there. Um, so I'm not sure now what I'm going to do. Okay, so after a lot of um, searching around the workshop, um, the best option I think I've come up with is a flattened angle bracket. So one of these fellas just smashed out. Uh, two screws, just sandwich it there. It, it won't move then. Um, the other option was um, these fellas, just washers, but I don't think I've got 10 identical washers and I don't want to buy any. I want to use what I have. Um, and the last idea I had uh, was putting this slip that we cut off on the front like that. Um, it actually does look quite, quite good, but it's kind of taking the look off the fork as well. So I think for now, I'm going to run with the flattened angle bracket idea with um, with the option of upgrading to the wood if um, if my wife doesn't like the look of it because it has to go in our hallway so we'll see how that plays out so yeah I'm going to do that next Right, so what you see me doing there was flattening out these angle brackets. I then put the angle brackets on with the hole I already had and used it to drill out the next hole. Then I've added in those five screws. Now they're really solid, they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, I've numbered them, so I put them back in the right order. I don't know if that was necessary or not, probably not. Okay, so having... Um, talked to my wife overnight um, and shown her the different mounting options that I had um, shown you. Um, she thinks that this piece of oak would be the best one. She didn't really like the um, flattened angle bracket approach. So I'm going to prepare this for spraying now as well. In the interest of doing it a bit quicker I'm going to use the bell sander on it. we
Okay, so when you're spraying, you want to make sure that you're using a, a respirator. Um, I know I've done a couple of projects where I haven't had one. I've finally gotten it, so I'm going to be using it. Um, there's no point in wearing these fellas, the little dust masks. They're only for dust. Um, they'll do nothing for paint fumes. So you, you do actually need a proper um, respirator with the proper filters in them. Okay, so in case you didn't um, know, the reason I put it up on these little nails or screws is because you can spray it all the way around right down to the edges and you can let it dry on this then and that way you won't have any um, varnish that collects at the bottom or anything like that and it won't, obviously won't stick to the whatever you're spraying it on this lacquer that I got it's it's actually out of Aldi or little I can't remember one of those um, but it needs to be between 5 and 25 degrees to spray properly and this can was freezing this morning so I've warmed it up a bit before I used it so just bear that in mind when you're you're spraying anything like that there is a there is a temperature the can needs to be between um, and also it needs to be um, warm for this to dry properly as well so you're best taking if you don't want to bring it inside don't want to stink up the house just um, maybe put a, a heater or something on you want those little uh, electric heaters the fan ones put it on for well in my small workshop probably five minutes and there'll be a good temperature in here um, yeah it'll help, help it dry much quicker for you Okay, so our pieces have dried off nicely. They're ready to um, all go together now. As I've said, this is going to be the way I mount them now. So what I'm going to do is put the five forks on. I'm going to fix them from the front with these little silver screws. I'm going to put the batten on them and fix them again from the back um, all the way through and into this timber with a longer 30 millimeter screw. Yep, so that's the next thing you're going to see me do.
Right, so I have it mounted on the wall there now. I got a really good fixing into the masonry wall with the raw plugs. So the kids can swing over, it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, and I didn't have to add anything to it in the end. Uh, it cost me five euro for the six forks. Uh, I didn't, I thought five looked better than six, so I still want spare. Uh, other than that, it was a bit of wood and varnish and a few screws. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with that project. Right, so we're all finished up there now. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And follow me on social media for all the latest news on the channel and all my latest videos.